I was first introduced to uh, Lo Jong or Seven Point Mind Training, um, I loved the idea of it because I really wanted to know how can I um, not just have my practice happen on the cushion, but how can I step off the cushion and into everyday life and have the stuff of everyday life be grist for the mill of awakening? How can I use that stuff? And um, I discovered Lojong is a wonderful way to do that. This has come into and out of um, popular use in Tibet for centuries. And it keeps coming back because it's so useful. Um, so this one um, Dharma master was vid visiting another one and uh, he happened to notice this book sitting open on the other master's bed. And it, uh, it was, he was so struck by these maxims and their potential to be used as tools, each one of them um, to perform like a jujitsu, <laughs> whatever he was experiencing in life so that he could turn it into a way of um, practicing bodhicitta which means heart mind of awakening and particularly awakening to how we're not separate from each other. So um, he then really took this practice to heart and practiced it and then decided he wanted to study with a master and he went to uh, Sri Lanka and studied with sort of the world master there, really took this on and um, eventually compiled the many different sort of versions of it and everything. And it resulted in this book, which you're probably not able to read because it's backwards. <laughs> it's called The Great Path of Awakening. That's how it's been named in this particular edition. Um, and uh, the modern, more modern day compiler of it is Jamgun Kongchul Rinpoche, who lived in the last century and some of the century before. Um, and it was translated by Ken McLeod. And this happens to be my favorite edition because it's very concise and just gives me the very basics. But there are many interpretations that are just wonderful that begin to shine a light from different directions on these very terse maxims that actually have packed within them a lot. So it's nice to have somebody unpack them. And I've read several of them, these um, commentaries. Uh, so one is by Pema Chudron. I think that one is uh, Start Where You Are, is that, that one? Um, she's worked with Lo Jong a lot and uh, created something called a compassion box where each maxim is on a card with some quick commentary. And you can put that next to your computer or on your fridge or something like that. And just have that be your maxim for the day that you carry with you into all your experiences. Um, and I found that by the end of the day, I was like, I need more than one day with this. <laughs> so often it was maxim of the week. <laughs> uh, and I've gone through them all again and again and continue to find them unfolding for me because I'm different every time and life is different every time. 